Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to try out, or actually I'm going to unbox, I don't know if I'll get to make something with it. I want to, but it's already kind of late in the day and got to get dinner going and all that kind of stuff. So I was just thinking uh, out loud here. Um, it is the Heartfelt Creations Holiday Star Collection. I got the One and All Bundle. Um, I know it's currently sold out on HSN. Of course, when I say things like that later, they bring it back and then it might be there. So whatever links I have in the description box uh, will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through those links. I know the bundle, the whole bundle, the complete one is still available on Craft Stash. Of course, you can pick up items here and there. Uh, Heartfelt Creations themselves do not have, I don't believe, the one at all bundle anymore, but... Um, they do have, again, pieces and like a smaller type of bundle. Um, I don't have affiliate relationship with them, but I do have a referral link. So anyone can... Sorry, yeah, so I have a referral link with them. And it's something that anyone can pick up. It's just, you know, like your referral friend type of thing. So I'll have that there. It's for $20 off um, your first purchase. So if you ever purchase with them, it's not going to work. It has to be the first time you purchase with them. And um, and then I receive $20 like in store credit or whatever it is. But um, like I said, I'll link it... Um, to craft stash as far as the one and all bundle and those kind of things so again in the description box and i get this question every day where is the description box it is right under the video you can click on the title it'll expand or you can click on where it says show more you can click on the little arrow or like triangle it just depends what you're watching on so i, I don't know how it looks everywhere but that's where it is it's right under the video if anybody links a recipe or their blog or their social media that's where you're going to find those links okay anywhere on youtube the description box is where they pe people put that kind of stuff. So, uh, let me see here. Um, oh, <laughs> so cute. So, I had um, picked this up with Heartfelt, and they always include, like, some little um, mints. And they're just, like, the little dinner mints, you know what I'm saying? They kind of melt in your mouth. Um, give me a second, I'm sorry. There's, like, a little card in here, and it looked like a personalized card. But, you know, I don't know. So, I was like, let me open this up, because I'm not sure... Like I said, I don't have any kind of relationship with Heartfelt, but um, look how cute. It just has a simple little flower on there from the Poppy Collection, which I need to get to, guys. Oh my gosh, someone's knocking on my door. I'll be right back. I was going to say, at this age, has anyone ever come to your door and you've actually bought something from them? I was going to say ever, but that's funny because my mom, I remember she bought a Kirby vacuum cleaner <laughs> when we were kids. And then um, encyclopedias, which I was, it wasn't Encyclopedia Britannica, it wasn't else, but anyway, kind of funny. Um, I don't know, that's a very nice little stamp, but they just have a little card in there. That's sweet. Yeah, I mean, it's actual paper. Very cute. Okay, so, um, this is, again, the one and all bundle there, and let's open this guy up. What I like about these guys is they do come in this plastic bag if you get it from HSN or if you get it from Craft Stash, as long as it's the one and all bundle. If you get it from your local scrapbook store, because sometimes they carry heartfelt items, um, they'll look like this, which I did not know until about a year ago, so... <laughs> But that makes sense, because I think I remember at Expos, they had something like that. All right. Holiday Star. So, I did take a couple days to even think about it, but this is kind of the essence. That's why I want to do the unboxing video, at least. Maybe I'll do a little something real quick. I don't know how real quick it could be, but... Because um, it sells out, <laughs> so, as far as the big bundles. Um, so, this is the... Okay, Holiday Star. This is the stamp. And then the die set. What was really hard to tell... Hmm, it was really video. hard to tell in the, like, description is what the dies actually cut so we have the happy holidays seasons greetings merry christmas really cute you know, nice little size and then that big uh star there uh, we'll see about sizing this like okay even on the back of this sometimes it's hard to tell what they're showing you so we have this really sweet inner die that cuts its own thing either a cool shape like that or you can stamp and then cut this guy they even have the star for the little very center so cute. Um, this is just a matte die. This one's also a matte die, or again, for shakers. This is pretty much why I went ahead and got it, because I was like, I need to make shakers from this. And this beautiful outline, the outer one, that does also do this little curly cue kind of pretty stuff that's in here. So it makes it really delicate. And then this guy, you can cut your sentiments with, which is really pretty. It's kind of interesting how it has that one little star, so I guess it can be like a tag, or it's just like a little piece of decoration right there. It's kind of interesting. A little bit different. This is the large holiday star, and... Well, actually, I can tell you the size of this die. Where is it? The largest one is four, basically four inch square, you know? So, just so you know that. So, you'll know that that's pretty much the biggest thing it cuts there. This one's four by four and a quarter. Um, and this is the stamp. Again, red rubber. They stamp really nicely. Oh, that hurt my heart. <laughs> okay, well, 
we'll fix that later. I'll put a little tape there. So we have that red rubber stamp. Again, uh, a little spray of uh, stars that you're going to be able to cut. And then this is just like some background kind of stamping. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think the die is going to cut every single little thing here, but it just cuts like the cluster. Oh, it does, you guys. It does cut. <laughs> to me, I'm like, that is so many little tiny things. But look how this is kind of stuck to like that little part and all these different. That's crazy. Because you can even use this as just to make like little holes, like little apertures all in your paper. That, wow. Okay, well, I take it back. So you're going to be able to cut this little tiny things that you can use all over your card. And this I knew it was going to cut separately, but that blew me away. So, okay. This one cuts all those different stars. And then this one has this really pretty, so it's not an inlay. This cuts its own thing, even though it has the outer piece. It's its own die cut. So this that you see that's like that darker color, you can cut by itself. Or stamp it, don't use this, and use this outer one, or use them in combination when you stamp and then cut, or just cut this from silver paper or gold paper, whatever paper you want. It's going to look really awesome. Again, that delicate nature of that after you stamp. And then this, I was just like, oh, I had to get this. So that's pretty much why I went in with the whole thing. Starry holiday greetings. So um, happy holidays, season greetings, Merry Christmas. And these are big boys, four by two. I guess they're all about four by two inches. Oh my goodness. Okay. And, I mean, look at that. Red rubber. You know they're going to be awesome. You can do a little coloring or just stamp them, right? Just the way they are. Oopsie. And then the dies, you guys, for them. Oh, my goodness. What I was curious about this one is, like... Okay, yeah. Like, this one, if you cut this out with this die, you can see that it says Merry Christmas. I mean, pretty obviously, right? So you can just cut it out of paper. It says Merry Christmas. You're good to go. Stamp it. Cut it out. Stamp it. Leave the background. Cut it out. You know, however. Happy holidays. This one's harder to tell because obviously the peas need to come from the um, the die there. Now this one is interesting because we have um, a very delicate piece that cuts. I believe it's this one. The season's greetings. But then it looks like there's also like a background piece. Or if you just want to cut the whole thing out or something. And then there's these little guys. That's interesting. And I don't know what those go to. Let's see. Is there a little stamp over here? I don't see it. <gasps> you think there's supposed to be a little stamp in there? Uh, maybe somewhere else. Let's see. I do not know what that refers to. <laughs> so, um, or maybe it just cuts... This, no, that doesn't make any sense. There's got to be something in here that this matches up with. Because it doesn't make any sense. But we'll look at it. It looks like maybe it's this area. See this one? That one, and then this guy, this guy, and then these two little guys. So you can even cut little tiny things. That's what it is. It's this stamp right here. You can place this little piece and cut those pieces out. Oh my gosh, there's so many ways to play with this. And then, oh, of course, the paper pack. So let's check this out. Let's see here. I hope I don't damage anything. Which just reminded me, I should have got two paper packs, as usually I do. But... Um, this is very blue and purple and silver, which is gorgeous. And I was thinking, you know what? Stars a lot of times are gold, right? We relate them with like gold colors, so I'll be happy to play with those colors too. So this um, beautiful paper. I mean, look at the pattern on that; just gorgeous. And then we have the tags, and you guys know I've. This was kind of tough. A lot of times when I make a um, a review or a tutorial, people ask like, "Oh, where'd you get this or that paper or this other?" After a while of collecting stuff, I, I don't remember. But if I can find links, right, I will. But it's like, I don't know, it's matte paper. It's gold matte paper. It's gold silver paper or matte silver paper. Or like these dies. I pick some up on Amazon. I pick some up on HSN. I pick some up through Heartfelt so I can get all the different dies that cut these guys. But you can just cut them by hand also. Obviously, they're not too difficult. This might be a little trickier, but I've been getting better doing hunky-dory stuff with fussy cutting. That I've been getting better at that. But I do, you know, they sell the dies to cut these guys out. Uh, in different places. So we have six inch squares. So pretty. Look at this. With all the little like words. You can totally cut that down and use them as uh, sentiments. Or just leave it as a background, right? That is really cute. Uh, the beautiful purple. Look, this one says season greetings already in that same style. How cute. Um, just gorgeous. Again, that purple and blue. And this one's a little bit deeper with that Merry Christmas that you can also stamp the Happy Holidays is up here. I don't know, maybe it's hard to see, but right up here. These gorgeous things. Again, these are a little bit smaller, like for an A2 size. I like that she does that. It's really fun. And then there's like this little bracket. You can stamp something in there if you have... Or maybe add one of those sentiments that you can cut up. Look how pretty this is. And, you know, I know we're in like Frozen. A lot of this looks like stars, but also looks like snowflakes. So it's fun to kind of play with them that way. Look at this. Again, the die that cuts these guys out. Of course, the dies that cut these guys out. I guess if I made a quick card, it would be using these, wouldn't it? Hmm. I don't know that I want to do that, though. 
Um, again, the back of the paper is just gorgeous. It's so hard to choose. And then look at, so you can use that die that cuts all those little pieces. Oh, so cute. So you can add all kinds of stuff here and there. Add a little glue, a little glitter, and you're good to go. Large 12 by 12 pieces. That beautiful. Again, kind of frozen, but not really. I mean, these colors are so much more saturated. It's uh, not as pastel as, like, frozen line. So pretty. Look at this. The big Merry Christmas there. And then the words, again, if you just want it as background, but big strips. I really like that design. That's really sweet. Um, this is gorgeous with, like, a tree line. I don't know if you can see that those are, like, trees. Um, and then this, very interesting. I would say they're, like, little ATC cards, but they're basically just... Um, like toppers, really, if you want that, you know? And I know it's hard to see because what's going on. It's like you cut them here and here, you know, like this, and then this way. Um, and then they're landscape and portrait design, which is awesome. So you have them in different ways. This one, again, just a gorgeous 12 by 12. All these little pieces on top. You can cut down, use them however. Well, this is interesting. What am I going to do? Because this. Oh, I can use one of the smaller ones. Okay, um, really, again, you have your squares, you have border strips, all kinds of pretty stuff. So what I was thinking about doing right now, just real quickly, is I wanted to do maybe a square card because I had some some dies, these dies that I've been wanting to use, and I thought, I can pair up different things. It doesn't always have to be the same brand with the same brand, right? So, like, this is Studio Light, and I was thinking about making a square card. So let me see, was it there? Hmm... So this one's much larger, obviously, and you can cut these down. But like, for, let's say I use this little square area. But if I use one of those stars, it's going to get covered up quite a bit. Let me see here. I'm trying to see what square size matches this the best. See, that one's exactly the same size, so I don't want that. What I want to do is make something like this. So these dies have these gorgeous layers. They're not inlays, so this will cut a die, square die cut shape that the center will still be there because it's a matte layer but the edges cut but you can also pair them up with these other dies that'll make a frame if you want or however you want to use it um but that ooh, see now that might be too big oh no it'll be fine because we're gonna cut this down and then this can be whatever color now okay let me gather my thoughts <laughs> i'll probably pull this page out i'll be well, right i'm gonna pull this page out then we might as well just get it cutting and get to cutting so if this is See, we don't really know what that is. I was going to say, usually she splits it up in three, if there's three things, but this is obviously wider than these pieces. So I'm going to lay this on here and see what that probably is lined up at. Oh, you know, let's get rid of this strip on top because it's making it a little bit difficult. So I'm just going to line this up at 12 just so I can get my paper nice and straight. Get rid of that. Okay. Probably take a little bit more off the top, but that's okay. Um... That lines up at <laughs> a very odd seven and three eighths. She usually doesn't make it difficult like that <laughs> with the weird number, but that's what it looks like. Maybe a little bit over. Okay, so there's that. And then this side should line up at about, well, actually now I don't know because the numbers are different. Um, it lined up, let me move it over a little bit this way. At three and three quarters. That looks really good. Let's see. Yep. I'm just trying to get this square guy out. Three and three quarters. And then what about this one? I don't really know. Actually, let's get rid of this side because I know that one's more. Yeah, so let's go three and three quarters. Ooh, a little bit less on this one. I'm just trying to get this <laughs> little square. And then... If it is square, it should be three and three quarters again. But it's a little bit smaller than that. Interesting. Okay, so we have this piece. And again, I cut this one a little bit too short, so I'm gonna... Or a little bit wide, you know what I'm saying? Take a little piece off of that, just to make it a little more squared up. Okay. I'm gonna look for some paper in my stash that goes with this that we can use that die on and then we'll try to cut a star and do something fun with that, okay? I'll be right back. <laughs> so funny. I was like, well, what if I mat this over another card layer? And so I looked in the paper pack and look at this paper is so pretty and I thought, okay, that'll be really nice actually to put this on top and then the other one with the die cuts, you know? And I literally just looked over in my pile of stuff I have this and she did mix a lot of red, kind of purpley, violet, should I say, where it's kind of a red-purple color. So, 
I'm going to take this paper again. Just paper I have in my stash and hopefully you know you guys have paper in your stash. I know we don't all have the same things and I don't want people to always feel like oh I have to use that exact same thing because I used to feel that way too long 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 time ago when I was first started crafting then I wouldn't do it because I'm like well I don't have that and it's not gonna look the right or it's not gonna look the same. It's not about looking the same it's just techniques and just you know ideas. So this is obviously a six inch square so I'm gonna cut it right here at six inches and then take this off right. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna run this through my machine and I'm gonna trim this down. Look how pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna clean this out. Um, yeah, Studio Light, you know, I pick up their stuff on HSN, Ecstasy Crafts, which is really nice because they give us that 10% off uh, every day with my code there. And um, Craft Stash. Whenever I go to Craft Stash, especially like with something like this, I always just check their sale page and I always keep it linked. For you guys because you never know i always feel like craft stash is kind of like uh, home goods or something where you go and you can find some really good deals you know uh so anyway okay i'm gonna clean this out and um i don't know look tell me guys because i always ask do you guys brush it from this side or the back side i always just brush it from the back but i've seen other people brush them from the front and then for me i just don't even care about brushing i like to just poke them out <laughs> whatever little bits so anyway I'll be right oh, back. You know what? As I was talking about craft stash, I do want to make mention that I know sometimes I'll say, "Oh, something's on sale," or this, you know, whatever it is. They go by British time or in, like in England, and for me, that means at 4 p.m. our time, and I'm Pacific Standard Time. They are going to switch out their sales, or like a sale might have ended, or they start something new. So if you have something in your cart and you're like kind of thinking about it, and you're going about your day, just know that 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, or I guess that's uh, 7 p.m. Eastern they are going to switch out their sales so I have had people go back and say hey it's gone now it's like yeah that's what they do and I'm sorry like I, I don't know because obviously that's what they do <laughs> so uh, just always keep that in mind or sometimes you know I just I'm gonna order some stuff that's not really like on a special or whatever it is and I'll just wait until four o'clock to see if they might add something else you know something else might come in stock that I would like and I'm like oh, okay so I just uh, then I'll add whatever it is or whatever it might be and then go from there but yeah just know sometimes if there's a sale something in your cart that's on sale it might end <laughs> at that time so just uh always be mindful because i do get that question quite often now you think i would have a six by six card blank right here to lay down i don't and i think i'm going to pop this up from the bottom so what i'm going to do is put some dimensionals on this and i'm going to go grab a six inch card base and i'll be right back so i just grabbed this super heavyweight that's one thing about the crafts companion sub boxes like their card bases are nice and heavy um okay so you know, they do a lot of things. I'm trying to just get a little something done just to show you guys because i got to move on uh, to get this video edited and all that. So, I mean, look how pretty that is. Um, you want to do some inking, something like that. You can definitely do that, but you know me, I'm just moving on. I want to do like a really crisp-looking star, snowflake, whatever it is. Um, I think I want this to open, yeah. So I want it to open like this. And we could definitely have made a fun fold with. So I will have other videos because I'm... If I don't make a shaker today, I'm going to make a shaker. I'll be surprised if I don't make one today. <laughs> uh, I really want to make a shaker that's like cut into the card in a fun way that you see through to the inside of the card, you know? So that'll be really easy to do with all the layering dies that are in this set. Excuse me, so yeah, I'm just going to place this right in here. And usually I kind of have my toppers ready to go. I don't know what I'm doing with this right now. I'm building it from the base up <laughs> and we'll see what happens. Look how pretty. And I left it really squared off just because it's kind of squared off in here but you know you can round the corners or do whatever you like so there's that now let's see I mean I can just go for boom a big sentiment which is not what I want to do I wanted to play with these guys so let's let me think for just a minute as far as which stamp set I want to use they obviously mix and match to the different sizes and things that are going on here with the stars but um like I feel like if I use this one it's going to take up Pretty much that whole space. Oh, wait, but what if I do the inner one? This guy. So pretty, or at least pieces of this one. Ooh, be careful with this guy. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be little pieces. Hmm. Maybe. Let me see how big this is. Okay, let me play around with this just a little bit, just to see what would be the best. Because this is pretty, you know, it's delicate there. Oh, gosh. Okay, let me get some paper. Some paper. Like, like, they don't give me paper here. <laughs> <laughs> I have plenty of paper. I'm like, no, no, this won't work. So I'm going to give myself a little challenge because it basically has to stamp exactly how I'm doing it here. Um, and then I was thinking about if I'm going to do a shaker, that means a part of this needs to be missing. 
but let's just put our stamp somewhere like literally right there oh my gosh hopefully this will work <laughs> let's get that let's get the stamp I guess I could have had that going already so if I do a shaker today that means I'm gonna cut out a lot of this oh no actually well I am but I don't know if that's gonna work right you know what let's not do that I was gonna do the stamping and then cut this away but I think the next layer is not gonna cut it away in a way that looks real great let me see let me bring out the next size down and see what that might look like do. I'm not gonna stamp right now yet I think I will stamp though um, in just a minute first I'm gonna take this really shiny paper actually I was looking for a matte silver but that's okay and I'm gonna cut this along with this die from the other set okay so it's just a little bit smaller so it's going to cut that portion out. And of course the magnets are under here trying to hold this together. But what I'm going to do is place some tape so that they don't move. I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine. Okay, okay I'll be right back. this looks like. We're going to bring this out of here very delicately. <laughs> Take a time to get this out of here. It's like the smallest piece that's right there. So I'm going to take a moment. Don't want to waste your guys' time, but I do want to show you that you want to be delicate with it, right? So I will be right back. Hey, okay. oh my goodness. I was going to say, let's see this together, you guys. <laughs> let's marvel at this together. Okay. So, now that is the, like, biggest star aperture on this. Very interesting. I'm trying to think what I want to do next. Okay. Let's bring this back. And let's say we do make it a shaker, right? So what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and stamp this on my white paper. And then that shaker will have the stamping in, in the background. And I'll still use that same outer die, but not the inside one, to cut this out. And hopefully, if this fits on here, then the die should probably fit too, because it always cuts real close to whatever's going on. So let's do that. And I brought out these inks, because I want to use the dark purple that's in here. And it's a little guy ink, so... Oh, another thing I really like about this set, now that I put this on here, is that it has, like, texture. So I'm going to rub this on here. If you rub it like this, those lines that you make are definitely going to be in your project. I just really want to get the color down. And then I'll go and pounce, 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 pounce. But the stamp itself has, like, texture cut into it, like, etched, etched into it, which is really nice. Oh, okay. That was a hybrid ink pad that has, like, fi uh, fabric fibers. So I'm going to put that down right here. And I'm just gonna use my hand on this one. Let's see what this looks like. Oh wow! So this paper is pearlescent paper. It is very um, the kind of thing that takes a while to set up. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna clean this off. Just wipe it down, and I'll be right back. I don't know if that's ready yet, but it probably takes needs a little bit longer. We're just gonna take this, and I'm just gonna cut the same outer die. If you don't want to you don't have to and actually you can just take scissors and just cut into this I don't think there's another die that's plain because that was the larger one from the other set um, so I'll take this out of here and then this guy generally you can eyeball with the heartfelt creations dies because um, it's like right on there as you can see super pretty and I'll just stick that down in places that don't have the ink <laughs> and I'm gonna run this through okay guys and I'll be right back. Another thing we're going to need for our shaker. So what I've noticed in some of the um, examples that Heartfelt has for these is that they have another, the smaller, this guy, like next up under this. So then you have another layer. And that's really good because then you can have that plus um, that thickness right from here to here with the acrylic um, acetate, should I say? I don't know how to explain it. So this one cut this guy out, right? But if you have another piece that's this guy plus this outer one or whatever it is you want to use. Um, actually, for this one, it wouldn't be. Well, you can match them up. You can pair this up with that, too. But um, this guy, this little inner one with that outer one, <laughs> just to make another aperture that's a little bit smaller than this. I don't know how to explain that. It just looks like a little lip in here. It'll help you cut this out of acetate, basically, is what I'm trying to say. That's what you're getting to. But since we didn't do that, and I didn't do that, what I'm going to do is just run this die through acetate, and we'll get rid of the little curly cues in a different way. Ooh, see, this time it didn't have to be... Well, it is still pretty delicate. But last time I took my time because it was that silver paper, and I didn't want it to get, like, 
uh, messed up in any way because on metallic paper you get a little little something you can totally tell right with this one you can just pop it back in place no big deal uh, there it goes oh my gosh you guys really I mean look at this oh so pretty so I'm gonna run this same dye through some acetate and I'll be right back I don't think this is gonna cut all the way through because it's so delicate but I don't really care about that I don't want the delicate part of it I just want the um, the star part so let's see I yeah I ran it through just like real quick and all I want from this is the part that's the star so once you've done this and it's like etched into there it's very easy to just kind of come in here and just pull and see how my scissor kind of wants to fall in there again you can keep the whole thing I just uh, didn't so I'm just gonna cut the rest of this away the little curly Q part Ooh, how cool is that to for just to be like a plus like acetate star right that whole background I was thinking about using vellum even but then I thought well just to have a different look anyway okay I'll be right back I'm just gonna finish trimming this away let's get rid of that I have some cleaning up to do you guys okay but for right now all I'm gonna do is glue this to this so it should be the same because it literally came from that same die <laughs> so I'm gonna glue those together just putting a little glue all along the edge of this guy if I can get the glue out and then just around the edge the solid edge of course because the rest of it's not there <laughs> And then um, attach to this acetate. Yep, there we go. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we have our pretty piece here. I was just bringing this back because we're going to pop this on here somewhere. We have this piece that we just glued together with the acetate. Of course, we need to lift that up. And honestly, we can even do some fun stuff, but I think it looks better just the <laughs> right the way it should be. But you know we have these little curly cues that we're basically going to end up covering up anyway um i cut this from a piece of vellum i had mentioned earlier about the vellum and i was like you know i still want to do that but look at this oh my gosh you guys <gasps> talking about being careful with something look at th it doesn't even look like it cut out which is crazy because the way the vellum just holds on no 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 okay let's get this guy here <gasps> oh my gosh so I was thinking about cutting this like in half and then sticking a little bit here, a little bit there. I might have to cut another one out, but look at this. Oh my gosh, put some glitter on it. There's already glitter on it for some reason. Um, ink it. That's so pretty. Again, I'm mixing and matching the two sets of stars. So these come from over here. And then we can get a whole bunch of different little things from this guy if you wanted to. But okay, I need to chill because <laughs> I need to make dinner. All right let's grab this guy I'm going to line this out and it's not gonna be the easiest thing in the world because it is a lot of you know so what I'm gonna do is like let's say that piece where is my or where are my scissors okay. I'll be right back. so I'm just gonna cut pieces that I think will work for this size and then this is a you know it fits the whole quarter inch but I'm gonna still trim this down and all I do is literally just cut it in half now people are gonna ask where I get these scissors I got them a long long time ago and they are non-stick and that's why you can do this and have a pretty good go at it right so from there probably gonna go down again you have to butt it up because whatever you're putting in there you do not want it to come out later right so I'll just whatever is too much I'll trim away and that's how I'm gonna do it now if you have foam that's like big sheets of it or even or okay <laughs> lots of things I know you guys here tell me you'll cut the same thing over and over and over and then just glue all those together to make layers and layers and they'll help you do your shaker that way so it's just layers of die cut glue it glue it glue it maybe four or five layers so you get a little thickness like about that that's great too you have foam pieces you can run the whole die through that um, fun foam the kid foam stuff um, you can run through that of course and uh, just go from there but for me right now I'm just using these guys and just gonna cut it down okay so I'm gonna line out this whole thing and I will be right back. You know what? I haven't really thought about any of this stuff. Um, I'm going to take the carriers off of this in just a minute. So take all the carriers off. I already have it lined out. Uh, we're going to stick this guy down. And again, are we going to do it perfectly? Sure. But what I'm going to do is remove all these little bits. And I'm going to put glue just on this area and glue it right down just like that. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I have that stuck down. And I'm just going to put a little of this Nouveau tonic um, opal cream and again just a little I'm not get too crazy with it I like it for it to actually shake and then oh my god a little schmutz on this one again 
All this extra glue just cleans up real easily. You can just wipe it down or, you know, wait till it dries. Um, I'm just going to pop this on here. And of course, oh, maybe I should look at the camera. What you guys are seeing, because I do not know if I'm anywhere even near where I need to be. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Sure. Okay, so I push it down kind of a little bit, and you know me. I turn it over and push it down really, really good. Okay, I will uh, think about what it is that I want to do for a sentiment. I think maybe we're just going to try to cut something today. Look at that. So pretty. All right, I'll be right back. I think we're going to go ahead and stamp something. Let's do... Oh man, let's do Happy Holidays. And I'm thinking if I want to do that same purple and then on what color paper, but let's see. This is just a white piece of paper. Kind of boring. Let me grab a different piece of paper. <laughs> okay, this is 10 times better, so it's pearlescent paper. And we're just going to stamp that with that same purple I used earlier. I don't know, no, that's not big enough. Let's get another stamping block. I was thinking I could have mixed the purple and the blue, this dark blue, to make it look really, really awesome. But it looks like we're going purple today, guys. And I'm just going to stamp it if I need to do it again. I'm going to give myself some room because I remember that thing is like a tag. And I might have to do it again. We'll see. And not bad. Again, this paper is pearlescent. It's not the easiest paper to stamp on. So I'm going to call that good, wipe this down, and I'll be back. Just kind of cleaning up as I was looking for this. So again, I cannot see through this to then cut that, right? So let's get through this little stickiness or it'll stay forever when I run it through my machine. Come on, there we go. Stick that back on there. Um, I'm just gonna quickly make an aperture, I suppose. Let's get a scrap piece of paper. Ooh, you know what? Do you wanna drop shadow this? What does this look like? I don't know if there's a lot of drop shadowing on this one. Um, that's okay. I'll just run it through a scrap of paper, which just fell. Let's try this one. So what I'm going to do is just put it in here and use a little tape. We're going to make ourselves an aperture so we know what we're cutting. And I do not need the extended cutting folder for this one, but that's what I grabbed, so that's what we have here. Ooh, I can stamp and use that for something else. Okay. Now we're going to look at this and just seeing where we want to cut that. I mean, that looks about right. Actually, a piece of this is going to get cut out, isn't it? Let's see about this again. See that little piece? It's really close to there, so let's bring this over just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And now I'll tape it. Usually I tape it in a couple places, just so that the paper doesn't move. Okay, I'll run this through, and I'll be right back. I'll just cut that down so I can get it in the machine. Lots of tape. <laughs> See how we did. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, I think <laughs> there was a little piece that I was telling myself I need to remove um, from this other thing. I saw that there was still a piece that was in there. Anyway, I'm going to take a moment to clean this out because it has lots of little areas that can be taken out. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have our pretty card. It looks like this. Again, I left it really just right in the center. You can be a lot more playful with it. I just wasn't to put something together. I think that's gonna look lovely right there possibly and then we have this little guy that I was thinking about cutting down I just let me see how I want to cut it down is there a half point let me see three four five no there's not so that's let's uh, I'm gonna cut it like right here maybe and I can tuck that as far in as I can oh that looks lovely do I need to cut another one or can we just have some fun with that yeah we can just use three and two what do you guys think I don't know it doesn't bother me none let's see here we can put it other places too we can be a little more playful with it oh hold on what if we do something like that let me play around with this a little bit and see where I would want to place it and then we'll do that <laughs> seem weird but I'm gonna put glue just under here whatever it looks like it might hit in this back area 
And I'm actually going to place this here in between those two layers. If I had thought about this guy earlier, I would have placed it earlier. Sorry, guys. Let me get a little bit closer. So that'll be there. And then I'll place this one down here because there's only two on this one. But then we have our little happy holidays that'll run interference for us. So I'll pick that up. And just adding a little something else. I like that. Okay, and it's just sticking out, and that's fun. And then this guy in here with some dimensionals on the one side. Actually, we'll do double dimensional here. Oopsie. <laughs> Let's take that carrier off. And then one on this other side. And that should do that. Sorry. All right, guys. Well, hopefully, hopefully that was a fun tutorial. Uh, unboxing and all that. Uh, let's see. Ooh, there's a lot of delicateness right here. <laughs> so I want to stick this down, but in a way that... Okay. You guys. Pearls, glitter, of course, whatever else you like to add, but I think this is it for me for today. Look at that. So many ways to mix and match, and that's what I'm trying to impress, because I was like, how... I mean, just the examples like that, that they have, you know, following like along with the um, product uh, links or the um, the images they have there on the product pages are like so many ways to play with this. It's it's crazy. So thanks for watching, guys. I will definitely follow up with more videos. I'm super excited to get this set. Um, I don't have a lot of star sets. That's why I was like, hmm, very interesting. So I think we can use it for lots of different occasions. But uh, that is my card for today. I'll have the links as appropriate in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.